What is going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan in case you're new here and if you are new do the usual thing that I always say subscribe like you guys know the deal. Uh, today we're going to do a trade, a quick trade recap. I'm going to see how quick I can keep this one. Um, it's just going to be a quick nothing too detailed or in depth just a trade recap on today's trade that I did in which I made a $1,200 profit. It was $1,246, but you guys know me. I like to simplify, so $1,200 because, God forbid, I say $1,250. Then there's going to be someone out there that says, Oh my God, he's lying. It was $1,246. He's claiming an additional $4. Send him to the jail. Or It's just the world we live in. Anyways, so $1,200 there. Uh, that was the profit. We did it within, I mean, like literally 30 minutes, less than 30 minutes. If we want to look at it, exactly 24 minutes, I think, if I calculated right in my head. But we'll just say less than 30 minutes for the sake of it. Uh, and this is where it was. Let me, we'll go look at the time. It was at 8.58 and 9.22. So I got in at 8.58. I exited the trade at 9.22. We were trading calls. Calls mean to make money when the stock goes up. So as the value of the stock increased, the value of our options increased. And this is right here where I got in at. This is the 858 area right here where I entered the trade. Like I said, I got calls. I got in seven of them at 1063 each. And I'll, I'll jump back to that and I'll give a breakdown on that real briefly here. I got in right here. And just for like a quick little side explanation, first of all, if you've taken my course or if you're even part of the watch list, you, you like you, this trade should speak volumes to you. Um, on the watch list we had initially, I was hoping to see if we can get a, a gap up and a spike to the 250 area, which is exactly what we pretty much got. Let me show you here. Right to that 250 area, a little shy of it, but like I said, you know, in my previous video, in these kind of conditions, sometimes you're a little shy by like 50 cents or so. Uh, but anyways, I missed that trade. That was initially what I was watching and trying to trade this morning, but it just went too fast on me. And I'm the type of person that sometimes I don't like to chase it, especially if it's already going in that direction. I like to, you know, if I'm if I'm trading it to the upside, if I want it to go up, I like to get it while it's still either staying flat or even going down a little. If I want the stock to go down, I like to get in it when it's staying flat or going up a little. So I would have wanted to get into it somewhere right here, but it just started reversing and I missed it. And it gets to a point where either you chase the trade or you just say, you know what, let it go. And I decided I'm going to let it go because it had went too far on me. Uh, some people did catch it. Uh, but anyways, that's besides the fact. Then on the other flip side, the profit target for that watch list trade was 242.50, which we hit it here. And then in the chat room, I was also saying to watch the 240 area for a bounce. It happened again, and I even missed that. I mean, it was a perfect play on every single aspect of it. It just bounced too quickly for me, and I'm like, all right, dude, at this point, I don't want to chase it. I let it go again, and I saw we were kind of holding up a little bit here, and I said, okay, it looks like we might give another push you know, higher, and that's where I decided I'm going to get into the trade. So I got in here, and within 30 minutes or so, like I say, less than 30 minutes, it shot up, and I was expecting it to hit the 250. You know, I wasn't trying to, you know, I mean, it could have broken the 250 area, which it did, obviously, uh, but that wasn't what I was going for, and obviously, it would have been a lot more money if I did. I sold it for 1241 It's probably well over, like, 14 right now, 1450 right now, so it would have been an additional, like, another $1,500 on top of it, so it would have been at least, like, a $2,500 profit here if I was still holding, and that's if I was still holding to right now, not even counting to the top. Guys, it would have probably been, like, a $5,000 profit more if I held it to the top, but we don't focus on that. We don't talk about that because, and again, experienced and seasoned and educated traders know not to focus on that and not to get caught up on that because there comes times where you're going to say, oh man, that last trade, I got out at the 250 and he went all the way even past 255. Let me hold it. And that one time that you decide to hold it is the time that it says, nah, we'll see you later, buddy. And then there goes all your profits. You end up being in a loss and then so on and so forth. So just know you stick to your plan. We have a plan for a reason. You have a risk to reward. You have to have a proper risk management. Uh, here I am. I'm rambling. guy. I'm not really rambling. I'm kind of giving some slight instructional things, but I got to keep it to the minimum on these. I want them to be just a trade recap, a quick, quick trade recap. I've rambled a lot in all my other videos. Go learn some things in those. These are just trade recap here. Um... So that's that, guys. Uh, I'm going to try and speed it up here. This is where I got into the trade. And this is where I sold the trade. I had seven contracts. I was in it at 10.63. I had calls for next week expiration. There's two ways you can look at this. 
You can calculate it out fully or you can just do the difference here and multiply it by the amount of contracts. If we do it this way, you'll basically say, okay, we got in it for 1063, we sold it for 1241. So 1241 minus the cost of the trade, which is 1063, is 1.78. The way options works, one is, e is equivalent to 100. So if you see this here being 10.63, this is actually 1,063. So when we were looking at a profit of 1.78, the difference is 1.78, you know, 12.41 minus 1063, the difference is 1.78. That's actually 178. I had seven of them. So 178 times seven gives you 1,246, and that's the $1,246 profit that we have there. Or you can calculate it the other way out. Like I said, one is equivalent to 100, so this is 1,063. We had seven of them, so 1,063 times seven is 7,441. So this trade cost less than 7,441, or I'm sorry, less than $7,500. It cost 7,441. About 30 minutes later, we sold the trade for 1,241 each. So 1,241 times 7 is 8,687. You're going to subtract the cost of the trade from that 8,687. So you're going to subtract 7,441 from that 8,687. And that's how you get the difference of 1,246, which is your profit, 1,246. And again, when I say that you're investing 7,500, that doesn't mean you're going to lose 7,500 if you're wrong. You got it at 1063. You can always sell it at 10, for example. You get what I mean? Uh, you have a plan. You don't just get in it and say, all right, here we go, and just hope for the best. You have a plan. Um, but that's pretty much that, guys. We're, we're getting too long with the video here. I wanted to keep it under five minutes, but I just I just have like a, uh, an issue with just wanting to give as much information as possible, but at the same time, I want to hold back as much because the videos get too long. But then when I hold back, people start complaining like, oh, I'm not really learning anything. But if you really just pay attention for a few minutes and watch my other videos, you can pick up on all these things. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much that. 30 minutes, we made $1,200. And I mean, look, it's still, it was up at $1,500 almost. It's still going up. Um... And that's pretty much that, guys. I have a lot that I could say about it, but I don't want to. If you guys, if you've taken my course, you already know. You can see a lot of this stuff happening. Um, but that's pretty much that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check the description. I'm going to put links to our website in case you did want to, you know, join our uh, watch list or anything like that. I'll put links to my social media so you guys can keep up with me there. And that's that. We'll wrap it up here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you guys soon.